Oh, hey, what's up, Evil Dead fans? I am reading a message about the last video I did talking about if The Evil Dead is a standalone film. And I'm going to read the reply to you guys and uh, see what you guys think of this. <clears throat> it's not the nicest comment I've ever had. But let's check it out. And it's long and it's lengthy. And it says, thank you for using my Facebook post with this video. So, yay, there we go. Sadly, you did what I thought you would do. You had the perfect opportunity and you ruined everything. Okay. Because Evil Dead, having Evil Dead 2 debunks having the Evil Dead as a standalone film. Okay. And Ash vs. Evil Dead debunks that. And Bruce Campbell debunked it in interviews and so is Sam. When I saw the title of the video, I thought, yes, finally, someone will dare to tell the truth once and for all. It was not like that at all. First, and to the disappointment of you and others, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, and Fetty Alvarez, which Fetty never worked on the original The Evil Dead or Army of Darkness or Evil Dead 2 or Ash vs. Evil Dead, which uh, makes his opinion and what he knows null and void because he didn't work on those films. He just knows them. So there you go with that. Because that's just the same thing of hearing something from a friend, from a cousin, from a friend, from a cousin. Same thing. <clears throat> Have confirmed in recent years that Ash effectively, what is this effectively or effectually? It says effectually. What is effectually? It doesn't make any sense. Dies at the end of the evil dead, 1981. He dies. He literally dies. If you don't believe me, do a little research. And it won't be hard to find the sources. Not to mention that this is something obvious. It was something that did not need confirmation. Well, obviously it did with uh, everybody being, you know, right down the middle with it. Second point, not even in Army of Dark not even Army of Darkness is a direct sequel of Evil Dead 2. No, that's just fucking stupid. Honestly. At the end of Evil Dead 2, he goes where? To the Middle Ages. Where's he end up in Army of Darkness with a recap of Evil Dead 2? The Middle Ages! This is how you know this person doesn't know shit about shit. But well, here we are talking about the original. And yes, the original is a thousand percent confirmed by the creators themselves in a standalone movie. It is fact. I am sorry for you, but the truth must be told and accepted. And the only truth is that the Evil Dead 1981 it's, an, it's not an standalone movie. It's a standalone movie. Get your grammar right and correct. It's a standalone movie. Or a standalone film is what they wrote. No, they wrote and standalone film. It's a. Absolutely, completely, undubiably, indiscutably, whatever the fuck they mean by that, is not even debatable. It's not something 1,000. It is not something 1,000% confirmed. It is not debatable. Wait, 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 wait. Is not something debatable. It is not something 1,000% confirmed. Didn't they just contradict themselves? <whistles> but hey, I am rating all this for nothing because at the end, you and others are too blind to accept reality. How sad. And then somebody puts underneath their comment, don't bother, friend. He won't listen. His kind will never understand this. His kind? It's a little racist, don't you think? But at the end of the day, I don't like to make people mad. And maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe I haven't done enough research. Maybe these last three, four years of in-depth research has shown nothing. And the research but even before that, for the last 15 years before that, was nothing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what's this? Oh, just this is a good piece. This is an Evil Dead 2 Canarian Dagger that was built and modeled exactly after what Tom Sullivan did with the kit pieces that uh, he used, uh, proper sized chicken bones and a sculpted blade that I did myself. That I did tons of research on to get right. Hey dad, what's this? What's this? This is an Ash vs. Evil Dead chainsaw that is up to specs to what they used on the show. I spent years to make to, just to make sure that all the bolts and everything were accurate 
and the import, import the right parts that I need to get this done right. And also has parts from the guy, Rob, from the Book of the Dead, Rob McClain and Evil Dead Chainsaws, who did these, the original six for the series. I'm sure most people don't know that he did the original six and parts for it, but that's just uh, some research that I've done and uh, talking with Rob as well. So yes, that's what this is. Good eye. Hey dad, what's this book? You're talking about this book? My Evil Dead 2 book that used to be a Trick Treat Studios book, but I've made it more to the hero book that Tom Sullivan did. And I spent hours and hours and hours of research on this cover to make it exactly like Tom Sullivan's hero book from Evil Dead 2. I spent how long? About three months doing this book? Resculpting everything? But still, you know, I don't know enough. I don't know enough research. And you know, and my friends, I, you know, I got friends I thought they knew research and did really good props, but I don't think they did enough research. What's this right here? This is an Ash vs. Evil Dead book, cover done by CB Studios, and the inside page is done by Al Briardi. Golf Man's epic stuff, check him out on YouTube. And he's done hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of research to put the proper pages in the right order. And Kurt did as well to make the cover. But yet, people like us don't do enough research. Hey Dad, who made this grill? Good question. That was the amazing artist Chris Pollock. He's worked on films as well. And he spent hours and hours and days and months and years to get the proper Army of Darkness grill. He's done a lot of research on it, but apparently people like us don't know what we're talking about. Where did you get this from? That's another great question. The incredible artist, Roger Allen Baker made this, and he did it specs to Ash's glove from Ash vs. Evil Dead. And now he actually works on restorations on actual power gloves used for the show. And, but of course, the person that made that comment says, people like us don't know what we're talking about. That person's just stupid. So, joking aside, what I'm trying to say is, when you do research, you do research on every aspect of what you're researching. If you're going into the trilogy of Evil Dead, you need not just be one-sided about one thing that you think is perfectly right. You need to look at all aspects of it because if you don't and you're proven wrong and you think you're right, what happens, it makes you look like a dumbass. That's what it does. And a lot of people are looking at you right now who's seen that post thinks you're a dumbass because you didn't do all your research. If you believe it's one thing, you gotta research the other side and realize that there's more than one film. There's more than one interview. There's more than one quote that came from Sam, Bruce, Ted, anybody who worked on that film. And if anybody, anybody out there believes that they're right, that's fine. But do your research. I've spent years doing research on Evil Dead. I've met a lot of great people who I can have good discussions with who aren't just one-sided. And to those one-sided people who think they're right without doing the research, well, they're just stupid. And all jokes aside, I want to thank a lot of people I've met in the Evil Dead community who's done tons of research. Years, months, hours, spent every single waking moment trying to figure it out. Hell, one friend of mine, Paris Michael Voorhees, did a video on his bathroom floor because he stayed up all damn night trying to figure out the harness. I want to thank Chris Pollock, Emmanuel from Evil Dead Italia, Rob Book of the Dead, Al Biardi, Kurt Yube, Doug Johnson, Holly Johnson, Christopher Hamilton, John Thomas. Just, there's so many. Roger Allen Baker. So many people that I know who do all the research. They're not just one-sided about it. They break it down. They need to see, they need to hear. And the thing is, if you believe it's one thing, it's one thing, you need to research the other side of the argument before you come at somebody like that. Because the one thing that I do, I look at all aspects of it. I don't just look at one, one quote, I look at them all. So if you wanna have a discussion with whoever this fucking person is, we can have that. But I guarantee, I'm gonna piss you off by the end of it. 
because I know you can't be civil. I just know you can't. But we can have that discussion anytime you want. Also, I want to thank Philip Graves, Crazy Kyle. I do a podcast with him every Monday called Heroes, Heroes from the Sky. Check that out. A lot of Evil Dead information happens right there. Also, Hail to the Deads are coming out with their vodcast. Well, Christopher Hamilton is one of the uh, hosts of that, one of the co-hosts of it. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And really, that's it. That is it. This is my rebuttal video. This is my reaction to that video. You don't hurt me when you say people like us. You're talking about the people who do the research, the proper research, looks at everything. This is what you're going to get back. It's a video like this. And like I said, if you ever want to have that discussion, it's not hard to find me. Or any of my friends who can literally take your little 1,000% bullshit and throw it underneath a fucking dresser drawer that will never be found again. Because we know our shit. So until next time, you guys, stay groovy.